hey we got a new setup today so today i found this henna kit right so basically you take the henna and then paint it on you whatever i'm gonna show you but i decided to do this because i use henna all the time like it's just amazing i love henna i use it all the time but i use the ones that come in the little tubes and you squeeze them out and you just do a design however you want anywhere you want and then take it off and everything but then i ran out and so i found this and i was like well might as well try it so it's a bit different than what i'm used to but i'm gonna use it anyway okay so i opened up the box and it came with this brush these stencils this setting powder and three henna colors we got black brown and white so i have my instructions right here they on the back of the box and we gonna get right into it so it says how to apply apply on clean and dry skin cut out desired stencil shake tube of tattoo paint well remove sticky stencil from backing and place on the skin so that's the first step so i'm gonna pick out which stencil i want out of these there's eight stencil design sheets Ooh. let me just show you all the stencils we got so we got these that you can use as like little tattoo bracelets we got these i don't know but this is cute <laughs> Um, we got these, you can go in your hand, got this, I really like this elephant, you know, this is, this is nice, I like that one, we got this, we got this, and we got this, these flower designs, and lastly, we have this. I picked the stencil I want. I decided on this one. And it really doesn't matter if you do it this way or this way or this way or that way. What matters is you do it however you want. So for this, I'm going to put this as the top. And it's going to go like up my middle finger. So I'm about to remove the sticky part. Wherever that is. So I'm taking off the black part, which is the stencil. And I'm gonna put it on wherever I wanna do the henna. Okay. <laughs> so I'm putting it on right. And then the next step is to put it on the tattoo openings, right? So first off, it's not really sticking to me. <laughs> Maybe it's cause my hand isn't like a smooth surface or whatever, but they say you should be able to put it wherever you want. So I'm putting it on my hands. And then the next step is to like shake up the tube and then like paint it over the openings, but it's no holes. So I'm wondering, is it gonna like go through this part and like reach my skin or not? Or if it's just gonna paint over it? Or maybe I was supposed to like cut I don't think I was supposed to cut the stencil, but I don't see an opening. So let's see how this works. Cause in this picture, she ain't do nothing to it. So let's see. We gonna trust the process. So next it say, apply tattoo paint into stencil openings using application brush. Immediately remove stencil from skin and wait five minutes for the tattoo to dry. Okay, so I'm about to use brown because the regular henna I use is always brown. I heard that black isn't really healthy for your skin, but yeah, I'm gonna use the brown one because it's more natural. Now I gotta squeeze this out 
Should I squeeze this out onto the brush or should I squeeze this out onto here and then spread it out? I'm gonna squeeze it out on here and spread it out with the brush. Oh my gosh, it's really like not sticking to my skin, like for real. Anyway. It came out like that. Yeah. I'm brush it on. I'm gonna try to brush it on like harder. See like, it seems like it's going through actually. Cause you can see the whole stencil coming out. So I think it might work. Maybe. Maybe I'll be judging. Okay, so. It says after I paint it on, then immediately remove the stencil from my skin and then wait for the tattoo to dry. So I'm gonna make sure I got it everywhere. Looks like I got it everywhere. And I'm gonna immediately take it off. Ooh. Oh, this worked, y'all. Look at that. Okay, okay, this was nice. Okay, I see. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry for five minutes and I'll come back. Five minutes later, it's done and dry. And we're on to the last step. The last step set. Sprinkle a small amount of setting powder onto the tattoo and gently rub it in. So, we have our setting powder. I'm gonna open it. It's taped. How am I supposed to tell where the tape is? Ooh. Why I put this camera weird? Anyway, I got a phone call, so now the camera looks different. All right. So anyway, finally, 20 years later, got this thing, the tape off of the powder. So now I have to open it. Okay. So they said sprinkle it. So I'm guessing I use my hands. What the heck? It's got a cover on it. Why does it make this so difficult? Okay. We got it open. I'm getting some powder. Ooh, I might have sprinkled too much. Now I'm supposed to rub it in gently. Ooh, I did too much, way too much. Um, gently rub it in. <clears throat> I probably made this so ashy. I should have just left it as it is, as was. Um, this is the end result of this henna look. I, for one, I really appreciate this. It makes everything much easier and simpler. Um, and they even have like, you don't have to use the stencils because when you open it, it has a tip so you can like, I think you can, but I'm going to say that if you wanted to just make a design, you can like use this instead of just, you know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so since this was pretty short, I'm going to try and make my own small design like right here without a stencil and see how like easily it works. Um, this one seems a, li a little more watery than the henna that I used, but we're going to see if I can just make two small lines. Nothing extravagant, but I'm just going to make 
a line here and a line here around my wrist. Ooh, it's kind of like poop. <gasps> uh oh. -uh. Okay, we're gonna leave that. Um, this is what happened. So. I'm gonna clean that and give my overall review. My final thoughts on this. I think it works pretty well, you know? The design doesn't really, like, it's not a bad design. Um, and some points they lost the detail, like over here, down here, there's not a lot of detail, but I think that's fine considering how easy the process was. I don't really know how much it costed because it was a gift, but I would say if you happen to try to buy this, it would be worth no more than $10 because the stuff is a little runny and you do get some stencils and different colors and a brush and all that. So it has a good amount of things. So that's how it's worth like five to ten dollars, but the little tubes don't have much henna in it, so I'll keep that in mind. Overall, I think it was pretty fun to, you know, work on. It was a nice little thing. I could see myself using this a couple times over, you know, until I find some more henna to buy, you know. I think it's pretty good. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you next week on Saturday. I post every Saturday. Tell your friends. Bye.